Hey friends, it's Jay Rye. Thanks for coming back to the channel. Today we are live in Costa Rica, checking out another new adventure. This is the Diamante Adventure Park. This is such a cool place. It has these amazing zip lines. And one of the best features of all of these zip lines is that they have the Superman zip line where you go all the way to the ocean uh, in the Superman position. So this is a really special park. I'm so excited to show it to you. Come on, let's go have some fun. It's this sprawling, gorgeous area that goes all the way from the tall mountain all the way down to the actual ocean. Now, this is a little bit off of the beach from Playa Coco and Playa Ocatau. Um, the giant Ryu all-inclusive resort is also right here. This is an amazing location. It's not the easiest to get to, but that's where I find in Costa Rica some of the best adventures are. You have a great scenic place that they have a lock on for you to enjoy. And they can make so much happen here because they have the land and it's not overdeveloped. Beautiful location. This location is the number three reason to visit the Diamante Adventure Center. Take a look. So when you have the entry road, it's very rustic. You get to the parking lot, which you can see here off to the right. The Welcome Center is there in the middle and everything really comes from there. The Welcome Center is your hub to get to the zip lines, to get to the beach, to get to the animals. Everything starts at the Adventure Center. So take a look. They not only do the zip lines start at the Adventure Center, but they also finish at the Adventure Center. Here's somebody coming in for a landing as you're sitting here possibly eating your lunch. And so, like I said, this is where everything begins. There's the lockers. You can put away things you don't want to take on the adventure. It is a lot to carry, especially if it's a hot day like it was when we were there. Look at the attention to detail on these lockers. So gorgeous. Really, really nicely done. You've got the gear center here. This is where you're going to get all strapped up with your harness and everything else. Do your safety checks before you get started on your adventure. If you chose to go on the zip lines, this is where you'll begin. One of the things I absolutely love about Costa Rica and especially the Diamante Adventure Center here is that they let nature be nature. When you are in this adventure park, you are a part of nature and you are the intruder. This iguana here uh, is just walking through the lobby. It's his place and he's not worried about us. <laughs> it's, it's great. Um, also in the uh, the main adventure center here, this is also where the buffet is. So some of the packages include uh, food because if you're doing a lot of the adventures, you're gonna be here for a long time and you are going to want uh, food. Um, food was decent um, and I was glad that it was included because it made us uh, have something uh, good to get our energy back up. And uh, yeah, they've got food right here all at the adventure center. This is the hub of the whole Diamante Park. It's also really just such a beautiful overlook. Like they really laid it out so smartly, you know? Whether you're eating, whether you're waiting for your adventure, whatever, you're looking at the ocean, you're looking at the jungle, you're looking at the mountains, you're looking at the Ryu Resort, which is down below. They really, really thought this out and uh, it's exceptional the way they did it. Now, they also have their own movie running, which shows you a lot of the adventures that you can have here. So I'm gonna let you watch this as well because they, of course, professionally shot this. They've got the toucans, they've got the butterflies, as you're already seeing here. They've got the smiling, happy people, the, the families enjoying themselves. Um, this is, yeah, this, this is shot really well and it, and it really gives you the whole overview of why this location is so special, like I'm telling you, you know? It's got all of these adventures. And I think that, you know, I, I've been to a lot of parks and I think that the fact that they have this place nestled, you know, into the jungle, when you're looking from above, it's like you really can't see a lot of it because it's all nestled in. The zip lines and the, the stations for the zip lines, sure, you can see those, you know, they, those stand out. But, uh, you know, the rest of it just sort of fits right in. And, uh, and, and that's part of the reason that I, I really enjoy parks like this because uh, it doesn't feel as intrusive. ...that they have here. So I love that this park has so much to do. So you've got lots of different animals that you can see, which we're gonna show you in just a second. 
I know there's a lot of people that love horseback riding. That's available here. I've done horseback riding in multiple locations. Didn't choose to do it at this one, but it is available. And then of course on the lower level, you've got the animal sanctuary and there are so many animals here. So let's just go right through them. So they did have deer. They were just kind of chilling, hanging out there. These are some smaller crocodiles. And then of course you had these iguanas and this one iguana was really amazing. He just sat there looking like a statue with his big tongue sticking out. It's pretty funny. Then they have this whole area of the cats, the jaguar, the puma, the ocelots. Most of them were sleeping because it was a hot, hot day, but you did see some of them, which is cute. And then Coco got a lot of footage here of frogs. They had quite a few different species of frogs, which were pretty cool to look at. Here's some more. And look at this monster. This is one that I'm actually not upset that it's in a cage because you don't want to run into this in the parking lot or dangling down from a tree. It's a little too reminiscent of the Jungle Book for me. Here's another snake. Don't recall what the name of this one is, but just kind of blends in there with that green. All right, now we're getting to the tarantula. He's, I think he's just like under this log. Yeah, there he is. And how about a nice creepy scorpion? If you're ready for something lighter, we've got the butterflies, the toucans, the birds. Coco got amazing shots of the toucans. Uh, mine did not turn out this good, so we're definitely using her footage. And now this is inside the butterfly sanctuary. Now Coco, this is funny because she accidentally hit slow-mo on her camera, but it made for the most amazing photography, just watching the butterflies come and eat on that platform. And then look at this footage with Dell, Coco and Dell in there with the butterflies. And yeah, it just looks like magic. That's super, super slow-mo, just amazing. Such a, such a beautiful capture. Now here's some more birds for you. They're in a smaller area that you can't walk through. But yeah, I mean, th this isn't all of the animals, but we just wanted to give you a taste of uh, what, what there is here as far as the animals are concerned. And there's plenty more adventures down at the bottom level as well. They even have access to the beach, like look at right here. This is how you get down and head over to the beach where they have all these water activities as well. Gonna show you that. So the map here shows you they are offering snorkeling, they're offering stand-up paddle, they also have kayaks that you can take out. Now for us, like this is really cool that they included this at uh, Diamante Adventure Park. Uh, but for us, it was just a little redundant because we're staying at the beach already. So we do have, you know, access to this, but super cool that they are like, hey, not only are we a animal park, we're also gonna have these great adventures for you right at the ocean because the property goes there and it's stunning. Why not? And of course, the number one reason, if you haven't guessed it already, to come to Diamante Adventure Park is the zip lines. These are so well planned. This is an amazing system that they have here with the zip line. And as you can see, I'm standing here at the top of the mountain. This is where you're going to do the Superman zip line, which the bragging rights for this one is that it is a straight shot right to the ocean. Haven't seen anybody else build a zip line like this. And yeah, this is why the number one reason to visit Diamante Adventure Park is the zip lines. Watch this. All right, so this is the first line here at uh, Diamante. It's a pretty easy one. I mean, that's pretty normal for uh, most zip line places. The first one, just start off nice and easy. Make sure people know what they're getting into. So here's line one. I love zip lines like this, even though this first one is not the most exhilarating uh, zip line, it's not the most daring one, it is gorgeous. I love when you fly over canopy like this. It's just you, the jungle, and this line going from point to point. It's absolutely stunning way to start. 
<laughs> Don't like a rocket, sir. Yes. Stand up. All right, so line one is down, and now we get on this truck uh, to transport us to line two. We're going to go all the way up the mountain. Uh, it's pretty steep, too, so uh, thank goodness you don't have to walk this. And, um, yeah, everyone's uh, seated, still in their gear, and gorgeous views uh, out the back of the truck here as we are headed all the way to the top, right here at Diamante Adventure Park. All right, so here's what's really interesting is that the second zip line here at Diamante uh, is the Superman. So it's sort of like the grand finale comes second. You start with the little baby one, you take that uh, ride on the truck all the way up the mountain, and then, yeah, and then you get right to Superman. And as you can see, it's a straight shot all the way up on this mountain, all the way down to that hill just above the ocean. So I can't wait to see this actual footage. Um, so beautiful day is perfect for filming here this is gorgeous so for uh, the superman line two here it's a very different setup as you can see you're going to be lying prone the entire way which of course is why they call it the superman you're facing forward uh depending on the uh weather and depending on your size you know they might let you uh, put your arms out and even look like superman um, but this area is where you get the most anxiety um, this is the most thrilling line of the entire park and you're getting a lot of conversation there were a lot of couples and families here of people uh, discussing whether they really want to do this or not um, but it's an absolutely gorgeous day and the staff is really attentive and taking care of people understanding that they might be a little bit nervous uh, but you know safety is the most important thing so everybody is being uh, well taken care of and getting ready to do this and luckily on uh, my team here uh, nobody backed out everybody went for it even though there was a lot of uh, initial apprehension <laughs> all right and now no more delay this is the superman line this is my turn heading down superman line two All right, I just got off the Superman straight to the ocean. That honestly was one of the most exhilarating zip lines I've ever been on. Uh, a little complicated holding the phone, which again, they discourage, but you can still do it at your own risk. But uh, looking at that footage, completely worth it. Wow, wow, that was so good. All right, so this is line three now. We just finished two, which was Superman that came all the way from up there down here. Now we are ready for number three. Does number three have a special name? Yeah. What is the name of number three? 800. 800. Por yeah. qué? Porque mide 800 el cable. Oh, it's the distance. Uh, yeah. The ah, distance. perfecto. Gracias. Pura vida. <laughs> So line three is another canopy run. You're literally going across the entire park uh, from here. And it's gonna end at the Adventure Center. So there's a lot of footage of this line because it's the one that lands at the Adventure Center. So lots of people photograph this line, line three. It's really important to listen to the instructions of the people who are working here as well because this is the line that I saw several people get stuck on. And uh, so when they tell you to, you know, do a certain position or how to hold your legs or how to hold your arms, uh, please make sure you listen to them because otherwise you will easily get stuck on the line just like this kid did. All right, and here's Coco coming in for a landing on line three. Nice job, she's a pro. 
All right, so this is Diamante Line 4. What's the secret of Line 4? Uh, it's fast, very fast. This is fast? Uh, the secret is at the end of line number four. You will see. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Hold handlebars? Yes. Okay. Pura vida. Pura vida. So line four leaves the Adventure Center, which is the hub that we talked about earlier, and it goes over the canopy. Again, it goes over the Adventure Park, too. goes over the animal areas. Uh, not too long of a line, but uh, it is still fun. And you're, you're just gradually coming down the hill because you're going to end up uh, in the adventure center where the animals are. That's where all of these are going to end up. Spoiler alert. So just after you land at uh, line four, they have a free fall experience, which is cool. It's a controlled drop. Again, there's a bit of anxiety for some folks, but uh, this one is, I mean, it's really low key. You're, you're under control the whole time. Uh, it's, a, it's not even the extent of feeling like a full repel, but it is fun. What is the name of this one? Free fall. The free fall? Mm -hmm. the bar and turn right. mm -hmm. Hold on to this. Hold on to this. Ready? Ready. Yeah! Wow! <laughs> <Look at it. laughs> Ooh, that was good. That was good. You ready? Ready. Sale cinco último. Sale cinco último. Hey. hey, you made it. Almost done. All right, so after you finish the zip line, you get right to these hanging bridges. What's under the hanging bridges? Um, what, what am I going to see in the bottom? Um, if you have down there, we have a three um, crocodiles, big crocodiles. At the, at the bottom have... of this one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is a pretty cool bridge. Although. This is really funny because it's like it's intentionally um, it's intentionally shaky, which is cool. Right. But at the same point, when you look down, you look like you could totally fall through the bottom. Look at me. See, like my foot could totally like go through there. But let's not do that today. This reminds me of Disneyland. Disneyland had bridges like these in the. Uh, Tom Sawyer Island, where you could bounce and scare people that they were gonna fall in. <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go. There's the crocodiles he's talking about. We got two over there, one with his mouth open. We got one over here ready to eat me. Slowly swimming over this way. Hey, Mr. Crocodile. Oh, yeah. Amazing. And we, yeah, and we're walking right over them. I should tease him with a, there he goes. I want to tease him with a hot dog or something. Uh-huh. Woo! Not today, buddy, not today. You know, I actually thought he was kidding when he said that you were going over crocodiles. It wasn't, uh, oh, I'm stuck. Uh, it wasn't like terrifying, but I bet if you're like a younger kid, that would really surprise you. All of a sudden, you're walking over crocodiles. And of course, you have this, you know, harness system that's got you uh, strapped in, you know, so you're not really going to fall unless there's some huge failure. Um, but that's pretty ballsy. I love the adventure parks in Costa Rica because you would never get this 
at Knott's Berry Farm or Disneyland. Not at all. <laughs> this is fun. Diamante Adventure Park. Super, super fun place. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was the big, the big um, zip line. The Superman. The, zip line. The, the Wonder Woman. The what? The Wonder Woman. Okay, so they called it Wonder Woman on yours. That's they call it, it for yours? women. Okay. And then it's a Superman for guys. So. Okay, I missed that on mine because we had to go separately because we had to watch Dell, right? We had to take turns. Right. So well, I mean, other than that, I mean, I love that while you were gone, they had you know a whole little um, section for kids. It's really kid friendly. So yeah, there's a um, lot to do here. So it's interesting. I mean, I I saw this park on YouTube. And people just film mostly the Superman. Right. You know, that's like the big, that's the big, you know, um, uh, attraction. But there's so much more, you know. Again, I'm not a big fan. I've said it before, but I'm not a big fan when they have animals in cages. But, right. So they have some of that, you know. But um, but there's that. And, yeah, there's the whole, like, kids land. And then there's all of the other physical stuff you can do at the beach. The right. kayaks and the paddle boards and the snorkeling and all of that. We didn't get to that because, again, we've got our baby with us. But um, And he's teething. Yeah, as you can see, he's he's barely putting up with us right now. But, he uh, really is. But congrats on your first adventure after oh having a God, baby. Oh, my God. This is my first adventure yeah. ever here in Costa Rica, right? Uh, I feel like fully, yeah. Well, because, you know, you did sloth territory. Oh, yeah, but nothing like that's an thrilling. adventure. That's an adventure. It's a, it's, this is like my first. This zip is line. your first zip line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Lots anyway, of fun. yeah, super great place. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. It's J Rye World on YouTube, on Instagram. It's the whole family of channels now J Rye World Costa Rica, J Rye World Reviews, J Rye World Disney, all of it. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, supporting the channel. And we'll see you all next time. Bye, guys. Bye.